protocol having been observed, I'm very pleased to welcome our partners and friends from North America and all over the, the Caribbean to another CIBC First Caribbean Infrastructure Conference. This is now the third year that we've hosted this event, having done so first in the Bahamas in 2013, and then last year in Trinidad and Tobago. I'm immensely pleased with the way and the speed at which this conference has grown both in size and relevance to our regional and international partners. This event in its three short years has grown into a major forum for international and regional investors, governments, the private sector, and multilateral organizations to meet annually to engage each other with a view to finding real pathways to partnership that will yield opportunities for investment in the region's infrastructure development. This year's conference is being held under the theme Unlocking Economic Potential, and this theme aptly fits these times. We believe that with most of the economies in the region heading out of recession, and some showing some, some positive signs of growth, that this is an opportune time for public-private partnerships to take deeper root in the landscape of the region. During 2014, Caribbean economic activity benefited from a more rapid expansion um, in its major trading partners. Uh, the IMF estimates that real value um, advanced in, in, in real value increased in the advanced economies by about 1.8%, which was about a half a point uh, increase um, than, to, than in 2013. And specifically in the US, the UK and Canada, which are the primary sources of tourist arrivals and foreign direct investment, uh, these three countries led the way with much higher than average growth. Further, the recent declines in global oil prices has limited increases um, to inflation in the Caribbean and any reducing a resulting reduction in consumer prices bodes well for overall consumption levels in the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the Caribbean region. As a result, overall economic activity in 2014 in the Caribbean was buoyed by stronger demand for tourism services and a rebound in foreign direct investment. And uh, the available estimates show that of CIBC First Caribbean International Bank's 17 markets, only the economies of St. Lucia and St. Vincent actually contracted during 2014. And in the 16 tourism-dependent economies that we operate in, stayover arrivals increased 7%, ranging from a small 1% decline in St. Vincent to a whopping 50% increase in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Construction activity and future tourism prospects continue to benefit from increased high-end tourism activity in major tourism-dependent markets, such as Anguilla, the Bahamas, Barbados, and St. Kitts and Nevis. We at CIBC First Caribbean believe that infrastructure development and renewal in the Caribbean will be a catalyst for economic recovery and sustainable growth, and this has already started to take shape. IMF projections suggest positive economic growth for all Caribbean markets this year, and they are expected to gain further momentum in 2016. In short, the shadow of recession which has spread over this region since about 2008 is finally receding. However, many regional governments with their still relatively fragile economies and stretched budgets cannot undertake major capital works projects alone. The tourism infrastructure in many territories, such as hotel plants, airports, and cruise terminals, are in desperate need of renewal or rebuilding. Deteriorated road networks need to be repaired or replaced. And um, unfortunately, I've experienced that firsthand in Barbados. The economic potential of renewable energy, solar, wind, hydro, and geothermal, remains largely untapped and is ripe for unlocking to provide opportunities for some of the partnerships to take place between government and the private sector. The governments of the region are increasingly seeing the value of and placing more and greater emphasis on public-private partnerships to finance national infrastructure development. CIBC First Caribbean will continue to lead through events like this conference and play an active role in bringing all stakeholders together to promote public-private partnerships which spur economic growth in the region. Starting this morning and into, into tomorrow, you will explore in depth all of the issues surrounding PPPs. We've assembled a group of experts who will make presentations and lead discussions 
such as the types of regional projects that continue to attra attract international investment, techniques to increase, increase the credit rating of projects in the region, holistic approaches to airport and cruise port redevelopment, the rollout of key tourism development projects via public-private partnerships, harnessing efficiencies to upgrade water utility infrastructure, as well as the impact of renewable energy on the Caribbean energy mix. So let me take this opportunity once again to welcome you to this conference and to Jamaica. I met some of you last night and I hope look forward to meeting more of you during the next two days. And on behalf of the, our excellent team at CIBC First Caribbean and our parents CIBC, I wish you the very best for a successful conference. Thank you.